Good day, gentlemen. This is Swashbuckling Sir here, and today we're going to take a peek at Kill the Bad Guy. <laughs> Kill the Bad Guy is currently on Kickstarter and is developed by X-Key. They are from Marseille in France. And we're just going to start here and you can see what the game is all about. So you are basically part of a secret corporation and you, your target, depicted here with a white mask, is a bad guy. He got away with it, but not with us. We don't like bad guys. We kill them. And you get a nice replay. That's obviously a tutorial level here. And as I said, it's a very early prototype, but you can get an idea of how the game is going to look later on. Now, while I'm going to, to play through the levels here, I'm going to show you a couple of things while I'm going to skip like the tutorial stuff here. You can have different days, so, so you don't have, yes, game, I'm trying to commentate, thank you. So you have, on the top left, you have day one, and the bad guy target always moves the same path. So you can basically plan ahead, and now we know he starts here, and he's going to end up being here. And when he's out of the area, he's just the second day he's going to start, that's it. Then you can speed up the time by clicking here, and it's two or four times. And you can also pause, but during pause you can't do anything, so there's actually not much use in that, I don't know why it's there. And then you have a kind of vision cone, it's not important at this point, but I'm going to show you later on. It's important. Now here, there's a magazine. We can place it here. And we can charge this thing up here. He obviously likes to take a look at magazines with a certain display of women in there. Well, whatever fits, I guess. And now we just activate the slicing thingy and he is dead. Well, easy enough. Cut slice. Yes, very satisfying. Now, let's commentate on the aesthetics first, because that's rather easy to do. And meanwhile, I'm going to unlock this car. And here I can show the cameras have a cone of vision too. So now, the aesthetic of the game, while different to a lot of other games, it feels a little bit like the the style with a few colors and colors used for accentation accentation is that even a word for for accents you know so making something more visible um it's not as good as i would have guessed because i'm thinking of games like mirror's edge is a very comparable game in, in terms of the aesthetics and it just looks so much better because here it just feels I get the idea what they were trying to do, but it's not as distinguished, it's not as crisp. So it, it works, but it's just not as good at this point. Maybe they'll improve it in the future, I don't know yet. I like the black and white style and I like that they, you know, that they... I know what they're aiming for with a really red blood on the... Oh, this is so satisfying! <laughs> it, it's really interesting to see because it's really gory at this point. And just, it matches. However, I think, like, aesthetically, they have to do a little bit more. Just, maybe... I don't know what it is exactly, it just doesn't feel as polished and... In general, the, the art style doesn't feel as polished as... Obviously, it's not a AAA title, so you have to keep that in mind. Let's combine these two. Let's place this here. And now he can walk through there, and we can crush him with a piano, obviously. Who wouldn't want to do that? Now, let's 
not cover the sound because it's not final. What I've heard at this point, it's okay. It's not thrilling. It's it's good. Let's crash him. Smash. Very satisfying. And it's repetitive, obviously, but it's, it's not final. That's, that's not a problem. And the next thing is the thing that is, for me, the most important. You know it. It's the gameplay. Now, I have a little problem concerning this. Because a lot of this stuff, there's not a good level to show this actually. Because, wait, let's attach. Wait, how does it work? Do I need to attach the spear to this, don't I? Wait. Do I have to attach. Oh, I have to attach the rope first? Oh, right, okay. And then I have to attach the spear. Okay. And now he's probably going away. Exactly, okay. I'm going to kill him on the next day, that's perfectly fine. Let's check for the police car. The thing is, what I think is very weird is this. The whole puzzling interface just feels as if this game is made for a mobile. And that sounds very harsh. And I, I, it's not meant harsh. However, I have to say that it feels weird. So here we learn that he doesn't like dogs. Place the dog over there. He doesn't walk around a corpse of a dog. Obviously, he would want that. And now we can crash him with a crate. The puzzles at this point, obviously it's just an early prototype, so the puzzles are not difficult. However, it's also, it feels like, I don't know, the thing is, there are no puzzles in this game yet that would show a very complex puzzling mechanic. And it's just, this has to be turned on. So people watch that, great, now I have to hack this and turn it on. And now I have to crash this guy. Oh, crap. Okay, well, this is a perfect thing, actually. This is a perfect example. I messed up this puzzle. Now, I don't have a return to former... Well, I, luckily, I get a second chance here. I don't know if that was in the former prototype I played. Oh, I, I've never killed him that way. That's hideous. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Well, can I turn the camera here? I can't, okay. Well, that is a disgusting sound. Please, can't stop it. Thank you. YouTube does not approve. So, what I was trying to say, that as far as I have seen, the overall puzzling mechanics are not that difficult. Now, I need to move it here. Oh, it actually activates? Well, that's not what I wanted. Well, let's try this again. The thing is, what this game lacks in terms of gameplay is first, complex puzzles at this point. And wait, don't I have a firecracker anymore? What is this? A hydrant. Does it help anything? I have more fire water. What is this? Okay. Well, that doesn't help, does it? This guy needs to walk through the oil. Mm, maybe I can't do it now. Let's reset. Can I reset this somehow? Um. Seems I can't. Escape doesn't do anything. Well, that's too shabby. Can I just... Hmm. Because if I crush him here, the camera's going to see it and that's not going to work. So... Oh, now he walks in there? That's interesting. Did not did he do that the same thing earlier? Maybe he did, I'm just stupid. Oh, okay. Whatever. So, what I was trying to say, like for the third time, 
at the current point, the puzzles seem rather easy. And the thing that makes the puzzles difficult is the execution in itself. It's not that you need to think really hard to understand the puzzle. It's more the problem how to properly how to properly configurate like all the things and and that's the most important part and the saddest harshest thing I could say about the game and it's kind of hurts me to say it at this point but the problem is the execution like the execution of the puzzle is the problem and I don't think that's a shoot I don't think that's a very nice thing to say about a game because the game or at least wait he still walks by the well that's weird okay it doesn't matter the thing is in puzzle game I personally want to challenge my mind I want to think about problems and their solutions now in this game and the solution is rather obvious and rather easy to understand and the main problem usually is to time uh, this level is a good example so the thing what I what I need to do here is I need to shoot this saw at the right point where the camera and the guy in front don't see me killing this guy now obviously also the police guy should be gone by that specific time point it's not as easy as it might look, especially since I missed him again. Maybe I should place like the barricade for the cars. You don't move anymore. So, and another barricade over there. I don't know if they placed the barricade last in the last prototype. So let's throw these down just for the just for the lols. Okay. The, yeah, the problem is that, as you see, it's. The timing is essential in this game, and it, some people might like that. Some people might like the timing aspect of a puzzling game. I personally don't. I want to see a puzzle, I want to understand the solution, and then I'd like to... And, you know, then I'd like to so find the solution and, and fix the problem. Wait, what does he do? Why does he... Why does he walk like that? This suddenly. Jesus Christ. Wait, what is this? Association succeeded? What did I do? You lose? Okay, I... Uh, I don't think he's allowed to see the changes I make to the world. Well, that's it's not a problem. We can fix that. Now, the thing I think that makes or breaks this game is whether the developers are able to create good puzzles and by good I mean decent difficulty puzzles for this game in future versions because at this point it's a very much time-based puzzler it's not much thinking involved you probably need to figure out the proper timing and you need to you know check everything and now this guy is in front of the other guy and that's not going to work well that's okay so it's very timing based and why doesn't it stay on please stay on and while again some people might like it i personally prefer you know a thought process involved puzzling game and also, what I don't like, I know I can't finish this puzzle properly, you know, properly. I know I can, like, speed up, but still it involves me, like, waiting for this guy to reach the specific location. Please stop turning off. Oh, you go, like, here. And also this I don't understand. Why is he always going that way now? Hmm. Okay, maybe I have to replace the dog with a shield here. Oh, not with the shield, with the plate. Shield. <laughs> it's not a knight in armor, is it? Okay, so let's check this. And let's distract the policeman. So, I think oh, yeah. the pl problem this game has at this current time point is it's not that 
<laughs> it, it's it's just very dependent on timing and obviously it's a physics based puzzler as they stated however there's not much physics involved it's just timing and this guy just doesn't want to do what I want him to do so if you like physics based puzzlers in the sense as of Maybe I could use the tree to hit this guy when he walks like that. Let, let's let's double check that. So, if you like physics-based plat uh, platformers, what am I talking about? Physics-based? What? He just walked a completely different way. How am I supposed to plan for that? Can I just? Hmm. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe it's intentional that you prepare everything and you just see whatever works. Well, let's see. If I can actually dump him here. Can I dump him? And... Go! Oh, that's really slow. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. Well, again, the the interface feels like it's made for a mobile. There's a lot all clicking and dragging and stuff. You know, it just doesn't feel very good. Oh, this I can. Oh yes. Oh yes, please. Goodbye, son. <laughs> we have wet. This camera saw me. Oh well, I I think I have to reset then. Oh, it just. This is also a thing, you know. Why can't I just reset? I just want to start at the beginning. I don't want to start at the beginning again. I don't want to place all the stuff again. It's... I know I have played this level. I've completed this level like three times before recording the video. And I don't know why, but suddenly it just doesn't want anymore. And usually he just walks right by this lane and I just can place this shield. Um, not a shield, it's not a knight in armor. What am I saying? And he just walks right by there, and I just usually just can shoot him with a saw. Um, oh well, whatever. The thing is, now it doesn't work like that. And maybe I'm just stupid, and, and it's obviously an early prototype. Nonetheless, in this current prototype, I personally would refrain from backing this game. Just because I'm not, a, I'm not into timing-based puzzles. If I want a timing based game, I play, you know, a music game or a platformer or something else and not a puzzle game. When I play a puzzle game, as I said earlier, I want to challenge my mind and this game doesn't really challenge your mind. By the way, what does the tree do, the bent tree? It doesn't do anything when I click it. Maybe I have to place the dog too, together with a stopping sign so it really goes the other way. Let's check this. Let's speed this up. At least they have a speed up, so that's something, you know. It's not hacked yet, so... Oh god, oh god, I could do it. I could do it right here and there. Come on, come on. It's a timing thing again, isn't it? Ah, oh, shoot. Fudge this. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to show you the... Wait, how do I get out, by the way? Oh. Oh, ah, I found it. I need to pause. Well, that's also a very interesting way back to menu. Okay. So, this is Kill the Bad Guy. If you like timing-based puzzles, this might be for you. Okay. These wrap my thoughts up for the day. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.